What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Elias the First and this is Drinking Dish Season 3. What's up everyone? Thank you so much for coming back for another season of Drinking Dish. It is season three, so you know the drink I'ma make today has to be something special. And I'm just gonna call it Potion. All right, don't worry about it. It's just gonna be called Potion. So let's get started on this drink. First, we're gonna start with our liquor. And today, it is Hornitos. Yes, tequila, as y'all know, I love me some good tequila. So we're gonna go ahead and pour it in. And as you all know, I like my drinks what? Strong, so let's just pour this tequila up in here. I think that should be good. We'll see, y'all know how I do, y'all know how I do, right? Next, we're gonna take some blue curacao. And pour that down in there too. Bam, like so. Ooh, look at that. A little bit, a little bit more. Next we're going to add some Simply Limeade. And y'all know me, I love Simply, and if it ain't Simply, then you just ain't doing it right. Pour that down in there. After that, we are gonna add two cans of pineapple juice. I'm using the cans because I just didn't feel like having a big old thing. Boom, like so. Next, a little bit of the Canada Dry. Hey, isn't that, look, look how pretty that looks, y'all. All right, and to give it just a little pizzazz, a little sparkle, a little uh-uh-uh, right? Got a little something for y'all. We're gonna put in a little of this shimmer glitter down in here and mix it up. Watch, watch what happens, y'all. Got the spoon. Gonna just pour that down in there. Yeah. Thing needs just a little more because it's not as shimmery as I like it. And you're gonna have to get up close to this because I'm telling you, it shimmers. Shimmers. Ooh. Look at that, just sparkling in. Just sparkling. All right, y'all. Okay. Get up close to that. Look at that shimmer. Look at that shimmer. Lighten it up. Ooh, don't it look like a potion? After you drink this, you don't know what's gonna happen. Grant every desire. At least that's what your mind's gonna tell you. Last but not least, we're gonna go ahead, squeeze some lemon in there. Fucking squeeze. Go, bam, boom. Give that a quick little stir again. Now, from there, we're gonna go ahead and put ice in our glasses that are already rimmed. Y'all see that? Look at that, boom. Beautiful gold, tell you. Told you, I'm doing it, I'm doing it special for you guys. It's, it's episode one of season three. Uh, Y'all know how the ice flies all over the damn place. I need to invest in better ice. That's what it really is. I need to like get me one of those ice maker machines that make those real fancy, pretty looking ice cubes and shit. But, you know, we do it a little ghetto style over here. And you're probably wondering, wow, there's quite a few cups or maybe you can't see it, I don't know. But there's a few cups back here because there's gonna be a few of us drinking. Cause I'll tell you, this is a special episode. What I tell you, ice everywhere. Boom. Boom. Oh, I need a little more ice cream. Bam. So, from there, we're gonna go ahead and pour our elixir into our glasses. Probably about there, right? Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And last but not least, we're gonna top it off with some of this peach champagne. Bam, throw a little lemon wheel in, in them, boom, bam, bam. And there you guys have it. The first drink of season three, Potion. So now that we have the drink made, we're gonna go ahead, get over to the table, and I'm gonna show y'all what I got in store for you tonight. All right, everyone, welcome back to the purple table. I have a special guest with me today. Um, everyone, please welcome my friend, Faye. All right, out there on YouTube, welcome Faye. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Hi. How are you? Oh, well, I'm excited to be here. I'm really excited to try this drink potion. I think it came out really well, and I like the sparkle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The sweetness, I think even though there was some liquor. It's definitely covered by the pineapple, which I like. Overall, I've been enjoying the drink so far. Thank you, thank you, thank Smooth. you. Smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pulled down my ass day. <laughs> I, I did. I sat in Walmart's parking lot, went on my phone, like, shit, what am I making? I like, uh, look, it, look, y'all. Season three almost didn't happen. Y'all, <laughs> y'all don't know. Season three almost didn't happen. But anyway, uh, um, so yeah, you guys, uh, Faye is a part of the improv troupe that I am in, and that is how we know each other. Um, Faye is also a very talented writer, director, producer, all the, like she's into uh, acting and the arts and all that. Uh, she is currently working on her, is, is this is like your first short film or? Uh, it's not my first short film, but I'm doing it with a collaborative group or okay. just filming productions. It's really uh, been a great experience. Um, it's been a really big trip to go from just like creating stuff in middle school to actually having a team and working together creating art. And the, the short film that I'm working on is called Red. And uh, it's just been a, a fun experience overall. A little bit stressful, but a little bit overall fun. <laughs> Look, all, like being a creative is stressful, period, okay? So yeah. I can understand because you are wearing many hats to get this film right. done. I happen to have a little part in the film. He does. He I does. look good. I'm a pup pup. He's a okay. sergeant. He comes hey. out. Mm, that's why I gotta pre appreciate all these drinks because like you come up with so many clever drinks all the time and it's just sometimes stressful to like it, always be creative, you know, it, on the spot. Man, t like literally this drink, I didn't know what I was making. Mm -hmm. I Yet last night I was thinking about it. I was like, I don't know what because Sometimes you it's like you don't want to repeat yourself. You want to evolve. You want to keep, you know, mm -hmm. you want to keep stretching and trying new things. And I'm just like, fuck, yeah. what haven't I done yet? Yeah. <laughs> like, and I'm mostly I'm mostly focused on horror and that's like when you're mostly focused on one genre, you're mm -hmm. always trying to be different. So like with you, you know, trying to be this in multi-talented, you know, producer, actor, film, whatever, you know. Um and I, like you say, you're doing a collaborative rec, uh, uh, joint with, um, we just be filming? We just uh, we're, film? we're just filming. We're just filming. There we yeah. go. Um, your set's very diverse. Um, is that something that is important to you, be, uh, having diversity amongst your set? Uh, because uh, I'm sure you know, like, in Hollywood, it's not very diverse. You know, for my people, we have to fight for it, every role. Mm -hmm. everything we do but um when i came on your set it was very it was just like all of it was beautiful to see so like is that something that was important to you something that you thought of or it's just like how, it did happen organically what, what tell me about that i say it mostly happened organically um you know in the art community it really is a family we really are all connected together and you really make bonds with people that 
not only help you with your projects, but you help make more projects together, um, like us right now. And I feel when it comes to diversity and the subject on it, when I'm making a film, um, that is a topic that does come to mind. And I feel it is important to not only be sensitively sensitive towards the topic, like I, I think at the end of the day, if I want to tell a story through a perspective, I can't live through it, but I need to understand it to to not just do a half-assed job with it, you know? Yeah. And, and that is very important when it comes to it. Um, but when it comes to diversity on a set, that is important. And I feel organically, though, that did come together. That's that's good. That's good to hear. Yeah. You know, you want you want the stories you tell to be authentic. Yes. You know, and um, that's what a lot of Hollywood is missing. They they try to tell other people's stories, but it's still through um, this white lens, really. Like the produce <laughs> the producer's white, the director's white, but you're trying to tell yeah. a black story, the writer's white. You're trying to tell an Asian story, like you know, that's yeah. why it's like it's important if you want to tell these authentic stories, you need to have people in place mm -hmm. that know these experiences that would actually know these characters yeah. and stuff like that. This episode's all about, you know, you know, bridging the gap and stuff. So I have a really fun game that I want to play with you. Awesome. But before we even get started with that, let's take these shots. This is your welcome shot here. Ooh. Okay. In the official drink and dish shot glasses. Awesome. Good. Okay. I like it. Thank you. So cheers. Thank you for coming on the show. All right. Ugh. Hi, mom. <laughs> oh. She's about to be drunk, mom. Ooh. All right, so um, like I said, I have a really fun game. Okay. Uh, we're gonna play a game that is called Black Card Revoked. Right? Okay. So the way this game works, <laughs> there's two sets of cards. Um, some of these cards are majority rules, okay. and some of them are correct answer. Uh, all these cards are pertaining to black culture. Okay. As you being the lovely blonde hair, blue eye, white girl you are, it's wonderful. Uh, it, it, it's going to be fun to see like what you really know about, say, black culture. Um, if there's any questions you have about things, because it's all it's it's real fun. So you know, there's things that we do in our culture that a lot of people don't know, or they're like, why do they do that? And this time we can talk about it, explain it, have fun doing it. All awesome. right, so. Uh, in order to play this game, we need a couple more people, so I'm gonna get two more of my friends to come on so we can play this, Woo! and uh, we're gonna get started, folks. All right, y'all, so, got my two friends here, Kevin and Marcelina, 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 <laughs> told you. Okay, just quick for y'all that don't know, uh, we're gonna be doing a live, me and Marcelina here. Uh, every other Wednesday. So mm -hmm. if drinking dish ain't on, you can find us on a Wednesday, me and her. So, but, and, and if you saw the, our initial live, you would see that every time I say her name, I'ma say it like that. So that's what the inside joke is. That's why I keep saying her name like yeah, that. Yeah, I can't help but to giggle. What the hell did I just, oh, water. <laughs> all right, all right, so uh, we're gonna play Black Card Revolt with my good friend here, Faye. First time, gonna introduce her to some black culture topics and stuff. All right, uh, these two already know how to play, but I'm gonna explain for you. So right here we have A, B, C, and D cards, right? Okay. All the questions are multiple choice. That's where you get the A, B, C, D cards. Like I said, some are correct answer and some are majority rules. So these are opinion, these are facts, okay? <laughs> And they're all mixed up, so like the next card might be correct. You see, they're all mixed up. Okay. All right. So, but Ooh. here's the thing. Okay. This is why we got the shots, because you know it's not drinking dish without shots. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do for a correct answer and correct answer only, whoever gets the answer wrong has to take a shot. Okay. Ooh. I might get her wrong not to the culture because of the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right. Uh, 
And then also like for a correct answer, uh, if you're the one reading the card, you do not answer. Okay. Okay. So that way we all know. But majority rules, everyone plays. This one, the person reading does not play. Okay. All right, all right. All right. I think um, and once I see around, I'll, I'll get it. All right, awesome, awesome. Okay, so uh, let's see. Go ahead, Kevin, you go ahead and pull the first card. Correct answer. We're just going for it. Correct answer, all right. Go ahead. She's still searching for a real love, someone to set her heart free. A, Nicki Minaj. B, Amber Rose. C, Mariah Carey. Or D, Mary J. Blige. You got to it again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's still searching for a real love. Someone to set her heart free. A, Nicki Minaj. B, Amber Rose. C, Mariah Carey. Or D, Mary J. Blige. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yeah. Nice. One, two, three. D. Okay, D it is. Mary J. Blige. Hey, look at you. <laughs> okay. So you know some Mary J. Blige. Yeah, right? I do like some Mary J. Blige here and there. Okay. So we'll see. She got a little flavor. She it's got a little salt. Maybe beginner's luck, who knows? <laughs> she got salt. We're not not seasoning salt yet. She got salt in her. Okay? <laughs> There's a difference. Alright, alright, alright. I'll do next. Let's see. Majority rules here. Here we go. Answer the question. At their peak, which athlete had the most swag? Would it be A, Muhammad Ali, B, Allen Iverson, C, Deion Sanders, or D, Michael Jordan? Let me repeat that again. At their peak, which athlete had the most swag? A, Muhammad Ali, B, Allen Iverson, C, Deion Sanders, or D, Michael Jordan? See, these majority rule questions have us fighting. Like we will argue. We'll probably loud. start arguing. Okay. Yeah. So, so. All know. right. And well, we get loud. I'll just start taking a shot either way. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready? Uh, ready? Yeah, ready? And flip. What did everyone say? Ah, <laughs> uh, put your play down. <laughs> so we got one B. Which is uh, uh, who's B? Allen Iverson. He had swag. At the peak of his career, he had swag. Yeah, but he also didn't wear deodorant when he played games. That's nasty, no. Um, <laughs> we said Muhammad Ali. Oh my God! And you said D. Who was D again? We ain't gonna look at that. Michael Jordan, cause he got shoes. <laughs> that is. That is why. Pretty good shoes. We both lost, right? Wait, so is it A? No, y'all weren't listening, or y'all are drunk already. No, I said we are. He said correct and oh. correct. Okay. Yeah, boom. Good, we good. I should have just good. let y'all take it. <laughs> no, we I should have. I we really good. Should. We're good. All right, all right. Already? All right. So wait, do I take the shot? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what's going no. on. Oh, see. See, no one was paying. Okay, let okay. me explain it again, all right? Muhammad Ali. You're, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> what, do we have, what, what, like, what's that one? Majority. Okay. Yeah, it yeah. just, it just, okay. ding. Okay. Just like bolt right. off my head. Strong. All right, so go ahead, pick one. I'm gonna do correct answer. Oh. All right. All right, answer the question. Which group attempted to get Martin Luther King Jr. to commit suicide? Fun. Uh. We may all get this wrong. Look, don't judge us. So, I, don't judge me. So the Ku Klux Klan, Alabama State Police, uh, FBI, or CIA? <laughs> Fuck. I, I feel like I'm gonna get this wrong. Okay. Jesus be with me. Please wow. be with me. Jesus, I didn't know this game got dark. <laughs> <laughs> Game. We went to basketball to suicide. What the hell? <laughs> this game is fucking rewire. 
And I won the questions. I got that one. Okay. All right. <laughs> Shoot, look, look. Uh, dark attracts dark. Okay. Come on. Ready? Here we go. I might take a shot due to the question. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Bottoms up. Ooh. <laughs> one of us go join. Ooh. Two of us might join. Here we go. Mm. Right? Okay. All right. Uh, and go for it. C. 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 Oh. F is that it? Is it C? Yes. Oh, look at the Lord. We look. know something. <laughs> we were paying attention in Black History Month. We know something. Cause you, know Cause you know they only teach us um, uh, 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 Martin Luther King, Black History Month. But let's be real, they didn't even teach us that part. Barely. Okay. They didn't teach us that the FBI tried. We had to learn that shit on our own. Mm. Look, they I did not I teach real guess. black history. No, I'm, I'm gonna be real, I just guess. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, but I was scared that I didn't know it. Okay, y'all know how that goes. Mm. Alright, go ahead. Uh Marcelina, 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 Marcelina. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, so this is majority rules. Ooh, majority rules. All right. What's something that black families don't often talk about? A, sex, B, death, C, homosexuality, D, mental illness. Ooh. Yeah. Huh. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to go with that one. I feel like we're about to debate. Yeah. Uh, I'm about to take a shot. <laughs> Why you take? You don't have to take a shot. This is majority rules. Oh, I'm just. I just feel okay. Can I ask the question again? Because <laughs> you know, it is. What's uh, what's something that black people, black <laughs> black families don't often talk about? A. Sex. B. Death. C. Homosexuality. D, mental illness. Okay. Are right, we ready? It's warm in here. Jesus. Or uh, is it just me? Am I uh, trying no, to take off my jacket? No, no, no. Can you crack, crack it a little bit? It was a shock. Hopefully it's kind of quiet out there. It's hot. All right, y'all ready? All right, yeah. y'all ready? All right, yeah. One, the, two, three. D, D. D. Yeah. And we'll see again. Uh, C was homosexuality. Yeah. That was my next choice. Yeah, that was. Nah. That was For me, it would be A or D. Yeah. A was uh, sex. Sex. I was just kind of thinking pain. universally. It's just kind well, of. It was between C and D for me. Oh, uh, see, for me it's A and D, yeah. but D, uh, because we really don't talk like we don't like therapy. Black folks don't do therapy. Nope. We do not talk about mental illness. Nope. Like that is just something because it is. Uh, pray about it. Jesus will fix it all. <laughs> like, yeah. That is. That's yeah. That's right. that's how it is for us. Like homosexual. We talk about homosexuality. Like no, no. Like that's why I, I can't say C. We talk about homosexuality. We talk about how horrible it is. Yeah. To be oh, yeah. homosexual. So so yeah. Sorry, I nixed it. It's my show. Oh, okay. <laughs> see, I thought homo. See, okay, I was thinking like a positive perspective of homosexuality, but like I guess you okay. I understand. Yeah, no, okay. like, we talk about homosexuality. My turn, huh? Yes, back to you. Like, guess what? I'm going with correct answer wins. Come on, somebody correct gonna, answer. Somebody gonna lose on. Mm, I haven't taken a shot yet. Answer the question. I'm Who so originally good. said, "Sit your five dollar ass down before I make change." Oh, I am gonna. I might actually a, have to take a shot. Malcolm X, B, Martin Payne, C, Huey Newton, D, Nino Brown. Uh, I hope I'm right. It just sounds. Is ready? I'm, I'm doing an educated guess, y'all. Yeah. All right, here we go. Live it. <laughs> uh, uh, Nino Brown. D. Look. She's salt and pepper now. Okay. okay. I'm uh, salt. I'm almost got. a full salad. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Come on, man. Yeah, a couple more shots, it'll be the full crouton, all right? <laughs> and, and, and you said, who was that? No, don't, don't, Martin don't. Payne. 
why you, you thought why you got Martin to, said that. Why you gotta why you gotta go back to the question? Nobody told you. Shut, get, mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut, Take your shot. Shot, 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 shot. Hey, noise. Yeah, yeah, I did, did you read my mind. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mind. That's why I said it. Ooh. All right, my turn. Oh, shit. Here. Oh, shit. Mm. Sorry. Nose ring. Oh. All right, let's see. Majority rules. I want one of these good majority rules so we can argue. I just feel like arguing. Maybe it's the liquor. Okay, here we go. You need a good debate. I need a good debate, all right? Here we go. Answer the question. Which fake news story did you hear the most as a kid? A, the Klan owned Snapple. Uh, B, Tommy Hilfiger didn't like blacks. C, picnic means pick a nigga. <laughs> Or D, the Willie Lynch, the Willie Lynch letter is real. I know what y'all looking for. Uh, <laughs> I didn't hear any of these as a kid. Ah. So. I wonder why. <laughs> I was just a young little girl in elementary school. Can you read the answers again? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, uh, shoot, I don't have a nap. Can someone grab me a napkin? Y'all, I miss, this is so ghetto. Like, normally I'm more prepared than this. Like, don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. Uh, you need to read again, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Answer. Gonna... answer the question. Which fake news story did you hear the most as a kid? A, the clan owned Snapple. Of course you wouldn't hear that. Sorry. <laughs> what were they doing in the 2000s? Let's see. Oh, damn. Did your <laughs> folks talk about the clan? Uh. Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, yeah, I need you to clarify that question, actually. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I don't want to, like, incite myself. Hold on. <laughs> incite yourself about what? No! <laughs> that was a long pause. All of us was like, shit. <laughs> I asked for one question to be read back. And like, fuck you, man. <laughs> we really sat here like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not sweating because of the lights, okay? <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Which fake news story did you hear the most as a kid? Mm -hmm. The Klan owned Snapple. B. Tommy Hilfiger didn't like blacks. Uh -huh. C, picnic means pick a nigga. D, the Willie Lynch letter is real. Yeah, I don't know none of these. So. Oh, yeah, take an educated <laughs> guess. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, there we go. Okay, and I have something to say after this, but I don't know. All right. <laughs> uh, right. One, two, three. B, 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 C. Okay. So, C is <laughs> picnic means picnic. So. What? I just. <laughs> so, so are, are you telling me? Mm, grandma, huh? It was grandma, wasn't it? No, it was a saltine crackers. <laughs> okay. Mm. Look, all right, look, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm fucking with you so hard right now. I'm playing with you. Look, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I'm gonna take this shot and I'm alert. That's all I'm gonna do. Because, like, right now, I just. You don't have to take a shot. But okay. you don't have to take a shot. So here we go. It's just so awkward, I am gonna take a uh, shot. Uh, <laughs> I, was thinking, I have an amend, I have an amended rule for the game. Oh man! For majority rules, whoever is on the outs of majority rules, take a sip of your drink. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm definitely doing that because I'm not talking anymore. Okay, we got more. We got more potion over there. Yeah, all right. Barely. Oh, <laughs> uh, just fuck with you. All right, B. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, I need some more of that actually. So, yeah, B it was Tommy Hilfiger didn't like blacks. Okay. Because there was a thing with Tommy Hilfiger in the 90s. Okay. Mm -hmm. and See, wait a minute, though. Any. Wait a minute. This is an open discussion, right? Right. Yes. So, like, let me ask you the question. Why is, why is like, B more important than C? 
Like, if it actually happened, like, why aren't we talking about C? If it's, it, it, honestly, like, why doesn't all of these troll you? Why don't we put all the cards down if all of these actually are topics that actually suck? I'm just asking, like, why isn't all of these important? All don't of the these all suck <laughs> to you guys? Like, why does just B matter? All, all <laughs> doesn't all of them fucking offend you? All of them, all of them do suck, but as a kid growing up, this the is most this, one that this is the one that we yeah. most. Yeah. This is about what we one. heard the most. Uh, but just because it's hurt the most doesn't mm. mean the small ones are. Girl, this important. is a game. I'm just, <laughs> look, man. I'm trying to save face. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. See, look, see that's what's I'm wrong just... with white folks. Y'all be trying to save face and y'all don't have to. Uh, sometimes, look, no, no, no. sometimes the simple the simple shit yeah. works the most. Like according to mama, mama. a hard head makes for <laughs> A a smart student, B a jailbird, C a soft behind, D Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to keep it straight. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. But I was like, wait, Chris Brown. Okay. Right. That's who we all. Woo. <laughs> Yo. All right. Hey. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Yep. All right, flip. Okay. Come on. Oh, yes. 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 I'm up to level spaghetti up. right now, alright? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Woo! That's the flavor, y'all! A hard okay. head. Okay! Okay! Here we go! Alright! Alright, that was hella fun. That was so much fun. Even our little light debate we had. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> One that's more weird. just for the hell of it. One more what? One more. Let's just do it. I mean, shit. How's my show being taken over? I'm ready to write this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Correct answer wins. Mm. Who wrote Lift Every Voice and Sing? AKA the Negro National Anthem. Shit, I'ma fuck this one. <laughs> you would get the <laughs> No, I'm get, saying! You would get the one that not every black person really knows. Like hey, let's be real, it's all hey. that song. Langston Hughes. B. James Weldon Johnson. C. <laughs> Booker T. Washington. D. Maya Angelo. I think, I think this is fun. You just Ooh. trying to have everybody take shots. Oh, because you guys are all probably. Yeah, my... But he pulled like the like, hard, like one of the hardest. Knew. Like he just knew. That's a hard card. And right look, there. look, look, and guess what? He ain't gonna answer. Well, I already. Are, 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 are you taking a shot? Uh, I might be taking a shot because I mean. What was the choice? You want to? Re yeah, read them again. Who wrote the? Who wrote "Lift Every Voice and Sing," aka the Negro <laughs> National Anthem? A. Langston Hughes. B. James Weldon Johnson. C. Booker T. Washington. D. Maya Angelou. Fuck. I feel like all of you are gonna pick the same one. It's gonna be hilarious. I feel like oh. we're just gonna take a shot. This is what it is. Yeah. I hope I'm right. <laughs> oh, God, my head hurts. Ooh, I'm gonna put down an answer, but I'm taking a shot either way. All right, here we like... go. One, two, three. Wow. It is oh my god! Yeah. 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 Good, job. Good job! Good job! Shit. Good job! Hey. Good job! That goddamn shot! Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah! And we're taking a shot! Victory shot! Victory <laughs> shot! Come on! Jeez. It's the end of the game! Pick up a shot! I won! I won. You didn't win shit! <laughs> You won! Clean, 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 clean! Alright, y'all! That was a fun game! Here we go! Boom! And that is Black Card Revolt. This has been an awesome episode. Um, yeah, I've, I've yeah, enjoyed. Can I shout out my channel real quick? Oh, yeah, oh, oh yeah. Huh. We're, 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 we on. Got sorry, you. Sorry. I got you. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we, we still got one more thing to do. Okay, oh, yeah. here we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. So. Uh, yeah, that was Black Card Revoked. That was a lot of fun. Uh, thank you for being here and, and, you know, participating and, you know, we were doing it. You know? Yeah, let's, let's clap it up for Faye. Come on, clap it up for Faye. Yeah. Thank you. It was happy.
happy to be on the show. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, let the people out there know where they can find you, see your work, your all that stuff. Let them know. Uh, yeah, if you want to go on YouTube and shout out heyitsfave.com with a little explanation point, you can find me on YouTube and also on Instagram at the same apne. And uh, it was awesome to be on your show. How, and, do, you, how uh, do they spell fave? Uh, I know it's different. H U Y uh, I T S S A O. H U Y? Yes, H E Y, hey, it's fave. H E, okay. With a little exclamation point, except okay, for on gotcha. Instagram, because. They can't allow that, but as they so did So Faye is F-A-O. F-A-O. Yes, hey, it's Faye. Because my name is actually spelled F-A-O-L-A-N because it's Phelan, but they call me Faye for short. Fun <laughs> fact, folks. Yeah. All right, yes. Thank you. No problem. Yes, so thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of the show. Uh, actually, like a big thank you to you because y'all, y'all don't know, like, uh, she came in last minute. I've had it, it's been a. I was juggling people this week. It's been a, it was a thing, okay? Yeah. And she swooped in at the last minute and helped me out and saved. Honestly, season one. Free drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest here, okay? Well, free drinks. <laughs> But it honestly it was a blast. It was also awesome to like learn your guys's culture from a different perspective And I think that honestly even though I'm a little bit tipsy it is also nice to hear different ways and I think this game off it taught me things it taught me things that I didn't know before awesome awesome yeah. like I'm glad to hear that so um, in drink and dish tradition There is one more thing we must do okay it is called the chug off. Oh, okay. So we must chug. Okay. The rest of our drinks. Okay, here we go. Um, let's get you a napkin. Yeah. Oh shit, never mind. I gotta wash it anyways. Yeah. My bad, my bad, it's, my it, bad. You all get. I gotta. Sorry. I, forgot, I gotta wash it anyway. Cause somebody over here <laughs> spilling stuff. I must say I love your setup. It's Thank really you. nice. Thank you. I'm mm. glad. All right. So this is our chug off. Okay. okay. Cheers and cheers. Go. I don't know why you were chugging. You was halfway done. I know. Oh, and shit. I still beat you. I still got like a yeah, little bit yeah. left. And you already know. If it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to know. He well, was he was chugging air. Yeah, I was chugging hair. I had <laughs> something. Good. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our empty glasses. Quick. <laughs> Quick. Quick. Good night, everybody. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, y'all. That was our new episode of Drink and Dish. Thank you all for tuning in. Mm -hmm. uh, please follow me. Jeez, I'm, I still feel wet on my face. Not, Ooh, please follow. It's not booty. It's not booty calling. Okay. Anyway. Please, oh, sorry. So please, yes, please, uh, please, uh, like, share, subscribe, and comment mm -hmm. on uh, my social medias, uh, 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 blah, Twitter, Instagram, <laughs> and can now I, the, can I say something? the tick of the talk. Can I, I hate TikTok, but yeah. I'm on TikTok now. What's up? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I say please follow at Hey It's Faye on Instagram and also on YouTube. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yes, follow her. Mm -hmm. Do that. Yes, but yes, thank you all for tuning in. This has been another episode of Drinking Dish. Season 3, Episode 1, the premiere. Uh, clink, clink, clink. All right, and we shall see you all back here in two weeks. Also, remember, uh, 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 Every other Wednesday that there is not a drinking dish episode, me and Marcelina, 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 Marcelina will be on Instagram live. Uh, and we'll be having, <laughs> we have a wind down. It's fun. It's great. It's all that good stuff. So uh, tune in for that. And I shall see you all back in two weeks. Peace. Thank you. Thank you.